Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. In case you missed out, my old toaster oven died. So I'm cooking with a new one. This will be my second cooking video in the new toaster oven. I'm going to try to uh, broil some boneless, skinless chicken thighs in there. So let's get toasting. I have a nice, shiny, bright new tray here. Hasn't been used yet. This one has a, a broiler pan that goes in the tray. That's my old toaster oven tray right there. You can see the difference. So anyway, I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I cut up last night. And I cut them into smaller pieces. I used my uh, Kuma Chef's knife that's in the giveaway drawing. If you haven't seen that video, check that one out. You can have a chance to win one of those for yourself. Um, I put those in this wing sauce. This is just a medium wing sauce. This is Weiss brand, W-E-I-S. Got that at the grocery outlet bargain market for, I think it was $1.50 or $2 for that bottle. Um, I wiped a little bit of oil on this tray and uh, so hopefully the chicken won't stick. And I'm just gonna take some of these pieces of chicken and put them on here. I don't think I can fit all that on here, but I'll just uh, fit as much as I can on here. And then um, we will get this into the toaster oven, into the new toaster oven and see how well the broiler works. It didn't really work very well in my old one, so we'll see how this one works. So far, the one thing I found about this oven that I didn't like, or don't like, is the lack of a door stop. So, you can see how that door hangs way down here. There's just a little wire holding it. So, I came up with a very high-tech solution to that problem a roll of paper towels. If I just set that on the table right there, it catches the door. It's nice and soft, won't scratch the handle, and uh, nice and light, so it's real easy to move out of the way when we want to use the microwave. So, that problem is solved. Now, get this in there, and it looks like it just clears the elements pretty well. Let's see, we'll turn this to broil and push start and we're ready to go. This has been in there 15 minutes now, so let me take a look at it. I can smell it, it smells good. Oh yeah, it's getting kind of dark on top. Maybe I should turn those over. Looks like this is working pretty good. I turned them over. We'll put them back so they can get a little color on that side. It's been about 10 minutes on that side, so about 25 minutes total. Let's take a look here. That looks pretty good to me. Well, this looks like it turned out pretty good. It was in the marinade for about 18 hours. Let me try a piece of that. Oh man, that's pretty good. You know what, I think I'm gonna make a salad with it. That chicken turned out good, it's spicy just like wings. So I made a nice salad with it. I don't even know if I've ever made a salad on this channel. So I just put in there some lettuce and some avocado, bell pepper, celery, carrots, bunch of stuff and I topped it with some uh, chunky blue cheese dressing. This lighthouse dressing is really good. They sell that in the refrigerated section of the store but one of my favorites, I like the lighthouse dressings. So if you like the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and tell a few other people where they can find easy cooking ideas. You don't have to even like cooking that much to like my channel, I just give you simple things you can make. That way you can stay out of the drive throughs <laughs> See you guys.